Hey everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown main location and we're gonna talk Legos! Yay! My favorite day of the week. Any day I get to do cars is a good day and that's what we're doing today. We are doing self-propelled cars. If you look online, you'll find all sorts of different kinds of ways to do cars that go. There are cars that are rubber band powered, there are cars that you can attach sails to that are wind powered with fans or even just blowing on them. The two that I picked today are to demonstrate are my two personal favorites, uh, but I'd love to see whatever ones you come up with. So cars. To make a car, fundamentally, what you need obviously are wheels and a base. Unfortunately, here at the library, we mostly have really teeny tiny wheels. You might have better luck with bigger wheels. Um, but our first car that I made today to demonstrate is a balloon car. And I do promise that once this demonstrate, as soon as we're done here, as soon as this demonstration is done, I will douse this area in sanitizer. So how does a balloon powered car work? Well, you need something that will attach your balloon to your car. You need a balloon. You don't want it to be too big because you need it to actually fit on your car. And then these can be a little unpredictable, but it did go. And that's what matters. <laughs> so balloon powered cars are fun because you never quite know where they're gonna go or how. But my absolute favorite kind of propelled cars are slingshot cars. And for that, you need a slingshot. Easiest way I have found to make a slingshot is you take a chair. Regular full-size chairs work too, but the library conveniently has very small chairs. So you get a chair and you get at least one rubber band. You can also tie rubber bands together. You can use multiple rubber bands. This is where experimentation comes in. And you string the rubber band between two of the legs of the chair to make a slingshot. Then to make the actual car, again, you need wheels and you need a base and you need a something for the rubber band to rest on so that it can actually shoot the car. So down here, try to do this at an angle. You sort of pinch the base of your car against your little stopper there and <laughs> it shoots. That's actually the best run it's done before. It was doing some really weird flips earlier. And you can experiment with how far back you pull it, um, what happens when you add more rubber bands, et cetera, et cetera. How far, how high or how low you put the rubber band will also make a difference in how the car shoots and how far it goes. There we go. I was doing things like that earlier. So have some fun, make some cars, um, the car roller coasters, or even maybe you could make some boats that float and are air propelled or something. Whatever you like, please, we'd love to see what you're making. If you'd like to share them in the comments below, please feel free or you can email them to us. Our email address is in the descriptor. Also, as a little library commercial, we have extended our hours, hooray! We are now open to the public Monday through Saturday. Our Monday, Friday, Saturday hours are 10 to five, and our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday hours are 10 to seven. Just please remember that if you're over 10 years old and you come into the building, you have to wear a mask that covers your nose and your mouth. And if that won't work for you or your family, our curbside service is still available and waiting for you. So please come down and visit. We'd love to see you and I'll see you next week for another cool art program we'll be doing tinfoil art. I'll see you next time. Bye.